Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to update your Galaxy S6 using Smart Switch even if you're rooted. Now this may also work with other Samsung Galaxy devices but I can only confirm this for the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. And while most GS6 users have had success with this method, a few people with carrier variants of the phone have said they were unable to update because of root. But basically Samsung has finally replaced that clunky old Kai's software for Mac and PC with an incredibly easy to use alternative called Smart Switch. This is a bit different than the Smart Switch app that you can download for Android or iOS devices because it's actually a full on program for Windows and Mac that allows you to backup, restore and update your device. And now that Android 5.1 is starting to roll out to Galaxy S6 users across the world, people that rooted their devices are encountering that update failed message when they try to apply the OTA. But before you go through the complicated process of finding the right firmware for your variant, installing drivers, then sideloading the update with Odin, this new Smart Switch software can update most rooted devices in a few simple clicks. To get started, just make sure your phone is turned on and booted into Android, then plug it into your computer with a USB data cable. From here, open up a browser window so you can download a copy of the Smart Switch installer file for Mac or PC. And by the way, I have direct links for both versions ready for you with the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. So once that's finished downloading, go ahead and launch the installer file, then follow the prompts for installation. And with your phone still plugged in, Smart Switch should automatically detect your device type and install the proper drivers. So it's a million times easier than doing this all manually. But once everything is finished, you should be taken directly to the Smart Switch main menu. From here you'll see your device type listed at the top, then a few buttons near the bottom. And if you'd like to be on the safe side, I'd recommend backing up your device before you go through the update process. That's as simple as clicking the backup button here, then waiting about 10 minutes. And restoring your backup is just as easy with this second button down here. But back to the topic of updating, Smart Switch should automatically detect any available firmware updates for your device. And if it finds any, you'll see a message near the top of the window. Just click the update button directly to the right of this message, then you'll be asked to confirm your selection. After that, Smart Switch will give you a little information about the update process. It does say that rooted devices may cause updates to fail, but like I said, that hasn't been a problem for most users. And even if the update does fail to install, you'll just be back where you started, so there's really not much to lose in trying. But beyond that, you should make sure your battery is at least halfway charged, and basically don't touch or interact with your phone while the update is being applied. So when you're ready to go, just click OK and Smart Switch will take care of the rest for you. The update process should take about 10 minutes and your phone will automatically boot into download mode to apply it. When it's all said and done, your phone should automatically boot back up and you'll be running the latest version of Android. And while this won't cause you to lose any data, you will lose root if you were previously rooted. So that's something you should be aware of. Considering the alternatives though, Smart Switch is definitely the way to go when it comes to updating your Galaxy S6. But for more info and download links, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.